I've been professionally guiding uh, for 20 years. I've been running in Balabala safaris for the last 10 years. So this safari here, we are in Wangi communal land. Uh, it's uh, going to be a very hot safari. It's end of October going into November. Probably going to get some thunderstorms. There's been reports of lots of elephant bulls moving. So, you know, we've got uh, a couple of PHs helping us out in the sun. So, yeah, definitely going to be using our phones, trying to find out where the bulls are moving. It's going to be some long, hard days tracking. Um, probably going to get a few thunderstorms and probably going to get wet. And sure, it's going to be very, very hot. I started my apprenticeship in 2000 and uh, did my apprenticeship and qualified in 2006 and uh, have been hunting all around Zimbabwe uh, ever since then. I'm now full-time PH for Mbalabala Safaris. Buffalo hunting is uh, one of my favorite animals to hunt. Um, it's really nice getting onto the old Duggar boys. Uh, that's one of my most favorite things to do is uh, get into the areas, find the lone bulls, follow them up. Um, they're very clever, so you've got to put in all the tactics uh, to try and get one. Um, and so rewarding when you do. And just love the old old bulls with their big bosses and worn down uh, horns. Uh, it's always so much fun to do. But of course, uh, one has to be very careful because they are dangerous when wounded and uh, which makes it that much more exciting to, to hunt these big old wolves. Him again. Yeah, he's going down. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been professional hunting for about 15 or 16 years now. Um, over that course of time uh, with clients I've probably guided over a hundred buffalo and um, probably close to the same with the uh, elephant over that period of time.
Get our bearings. Let's have a drink of water. So we, we got, I mean, with 15 yards onto that ball, and he turned and faced us. And I think he was shot. I don't know if it was low, but he, it, it almost went down. And then he turned. And that's when I put one on the shoulder. I put two, or two on the shoulder. But then shit, Keep those other two bulls coming from behind. One, one on my left and one on my right. And that was. They ran. We ran in between them. Make sure we know where all the bulls are. If we, if it's just bulls, sometimes in the cow herds, you know, you can get the odd bull with them. We just got to be so careful because they, you know, they, they can run around, and you can suddenly be, you know, inside a herd, and there'll be elephant all around you, and be surrounded. So we just got to be very, very careful. Um, you've got a little bit more room to play with if there's margin or if there's an error in the shot because the spinal cord. 13 or 14 foot crock is at least 3-4 inches wide, you know.